Yes, uh, thank you uh, for giving me the chance to speak uh, about the resolution on uh, climate change. And I think uh, in this room, everybody agrees to take the recommendations from IPCC, so the United Nations uh, Scientific Board on Global Warming, to, uh, to take this as a basic for uh, our resolution. Uh, in this, um, well, having said this, I think uh, we have to work a little bit uh, in the workshop in this afternoon on the figures uh, which are included in the resolution as it stands now. But I would like to speak a little bit to you about the challenges I see behind the resolution. So Greens are used to adopt resolutions on uh, global warming, uh, but I think sometimes we have a lack to speak about the challenges which are also challenges for us, the Greens, in the process to stop global warming. So the first and for me really um, shocking uh, challenge is that only five months after the United Nations meeting in Bali, some of the most important scientists told us through recent publications uh, that everything what was a scientific recommendation on the table in Bali is far away from being enough. So this means that the gap between science and action, scientific knowledge and uh, political action is growing. It's getting bigger. And I think we have also as Greens uh, to find answers. Uh, to bridge these gaps, and I think we haven't yet the answers. Second challenge, so and coming back from Washington, I spent three days in Washington DC and I had a lot of meetings uh, with senators, Democratic senators, Republicans, and also congressmen, NGOs, think tanks, and therefore I, I, I would like to underline that the second also big challenge for the Greens is that the industrialized countries have to act sooner and have to act more radical against global warming than the rest of the world. And that the industrialized countries have to accept that in the emerging countries like China, India or Brazil, emissions will go on to increase. And this for a certain time. I mention this as a challenge because sometimes I have the impression that it's not as a challenge in our minds. <laughs> next, next challenge also for the Greens. Uh, yesterday, uh, Ulrike Lunacek told us we are the one, the, we are the party who has the resolutions. Uh, who has, yes, uh, who has the solutions. Maybe we have more, more resolutions than uh, already convincing presentations of solutions. So for me, the third big challenge is to implement sustainability as a leading principle. We are trying this since 30 years or longer. So far, we have had no success and uh, really, I believe that uh, this principle to do much more from much less sounds good, but uh, this means not less than organizing a real revolution. And I'm sure, and I have to admit this quite serious, I, I am sure uh, that, for example, the citizens of Europe who are talking a lot about action against global warming are not really prepared so far to agree to these principles of uh, sustainability. And another challenge, and uh, it's a little bit strange for me that uh, in the United States and in Brazil, I'm facing uh, the, the same uh, strong challenge and I'm not sure whether we can, we, we can uh, tackle it uh, successfully. So there is a challenge because there is action, so-called action against global warming, but uh, on the basic of wrong answers. So nuclear, 
is back in the debate because of uh, the global warming debate. Biofuels belong for me also to uh, the uh, yeah, wrong answers as far as we have not solved uh, our demand uh, for food security or sustainable agriculture. I cannot agree on uh, biofuels uh, as a good instrument against global warming. And third, uh, very, very strong in the debate in the United States and yeah. in the EU, for example, clean coal. So Rebe there is action, uh, but the action is leading in the wrong direction. And I think uh, for the Greens uh, all over the world, it's a big, big challenge uh, to face uh, this uh, wrong answers. And a uh, small story from the United States. So there are former anti-nuclear activists. Uh, they are now quite active in the debate uh, how to tackle global warming. Thank you. And they, they think it's uh, not feasible for them to say no, no, no. no against nuclear. They see it as uh, simply political <laughs> incorrect to say this. So believe it or not, uh, but uh, maybe it uh, demonstrates also uh, that uh, yeah. we have some valid, that we have uh, still uh, some challenges and not only solutions. So um, the that, uh, I think, uh, what we have to figure out also in, in uh, the workshop this afternoon on the resolution, uh, how can we as Global Greens use the momentum which is given uh, to our old ideas on sustainability, given by the debate uh, on global warming, how can we implement better the idea about sustainability than we did it so far, and Please, uh, we must my stop last now. Sentence, sorry, how can we focus um, more on processes uh, than on targets uh, for the years 2020 or 2050? Because I think in line with sustainability and the ideas is to focus on redirecting processes in our societies. Thank you for listening to me.